Thank you for joining us on HXGN TV today. I'm your host, Monica Miller Rogers. The I Film Museum in Amsterdam has been a modern marvel since its opening in 2012, when the museum needed a safer and more efficient way of moving exhibitions into its 1,180 square meter show space. It turned to Prisma for an effective solution. Combining mobile mapping and laser scanning, Prisma was able to provide an accurate as-built model to the museum. Here to tell us more about that project is Klaas de Vierd of Prisma. Klaas, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Monica. So Klaas, tell me a little bit more about Prisma and what you do there. Okay, thank you. Uh, Prisma Group is a private-owned company uh, suited in the Netherlands in Western Europe. We have about 150 employees and we provide all customers with uh, geo solutions uh, like laser scanning, mobile mapping, uh, stakeout um, and GIS. And uh, Netherlands is not only the, uh, uh, the only land that we, of country that we will uh, work, we also do uh, small projects in the USA. Uh, we go to, uh, to Kazakhstan to give advice in the uh, multi-beam projects. Um, the company as a whole exists of three sub uh, uh, companies. Uh, it's called Prisma Meter. And it's mainly stakeout in infrastructure and building. Then we have Prisma Geosensors. Uh, it works at the government uh, projects. And we have Prisma Fastenus. It's mainly suited uh, working in, in the water projects, rail infrastructure, and laser scanning in all kinds of projects. We well, are certainly a diverse firm. Yeah. So tell me, how did you get involved with this project at the iFilm Museum in Amsterdam? Yeah, uh, we were asked uh, by I to to make a, a complete model of I, um, and it's a very challenging uh, project because we had a very short time to do all the uh, scanning and all the survey. Um, um, and it's, it's, it's a really beautiful building with all kinds of uh, curved uh, walls and uh, strange uh, structures. And we thought that laser scanning is the best solution to make the complete 3D model of it. Okay, great. And now in this project, you combined several sensors. You use the Pegasus 2 on a car and on a boat because the museum yeah. sits near the water. Yeah. You also used the Pegasus backpack inside, you used the scan station P40 with iStar, and I believe you even got a UAV in the mix as well. Yeah. And we have this terrific video of that project, so let's take a look at that now. Okay. That was a excellent video to show how all of these sensors work together on this project. Tell me, what was the most challenging part of this project for the firm? Yeah, the most challenging part was the very short time we uh, had to uh, do all the surveying. Um, uh, we only had uh, a time slot of uh, three hours to do the inside scanning. Uh, of course, we had outside, we had a little bit more time. Um, uh, further, the 
different techniques because we used the P2, P2 on, the, on the boat. Um, the next challenge was to combine all the data because every uh, sensor has its own specialist and its own software and afterwards we had to combine all the data and that was really a challenge because uh, every system has its own uh, positioning system and its own IMU so that was a challenge to, to combine all the data. Um, yeah, but I think we succeeded in, in uh, the, cl the client was very satisf satisfied with the, with the result. Yeah. You combined all of these sensors together. How did that help you to overcome the challenges of collecting the data for such a unique building uh, as the Eye Museum yeah. with all of its yeah. different architecture? Okay, the, the, tech, the, the equipment we used, the, like the backpack and the P2, uh, made it possible to do the surveying in this three hours. And it was done uh, before opening time. So the next uh, advantage of using the Leica equipment uh, is that we didn't have any uh, customers in the in the point clouds and in the in the photo bubbles? Um, um, well, and and the results were very good. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. So merging these different sensors together, the scan station, the UAV, the Pegasus Two, the Pegasus Backpack. How? Where do you see that type of innovation taking the industry in the future? Uh, yeah. Well, the. These techniques uh, made it, make it possible, we've proven it in this project, uh, to do the, um, uh, in the complex situations where, uh, for example, safety is an issue. Um, uh, I think the remote sensing technique is, is what we need to do these kinds of, of projects. Um, because the, the results are very uh, easy to, to understand for our clients. Yeah? You can see uh, the data in a real good uh, 3D model. Um, it's also it's very accurate and it's good. It's uh, detailed information. Um, yeah, and uh, I think that we think it's it's the future. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I can see this going so far in the industry. Yeah. Class, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your insights with us today on this fascinating project, and we okay. certainly look forward to seeing what else Prisma innovates with next. Okay, thank you. For more information on Prisma Group, visit www.prismagroep.nl. For more information on Leica Geosystems, visit www.leica-geosystems.com. To view more episodes on HXGN TV, please visit hxgntv.com. Thank you for watching.